Welcome to Guitar.com. If you're looking to purchase your first acoustic guitar, or your first electric guitar, today we're going to help arm you with the information necessary to do so. Uh, the internet can be a great resource for finding all the research you need in doing so, but it can be very confusing. And today we're going to help drill down into that detail uh, and arm you with the information you need. So when you walk in the door at your local music store, you'll have that information. Your local music store can be a great resource. They'll be your best friend. They can help you buy your first amp, your first cable, your tuners, your strings, all that information. Let's head downstairs. We're here in Plainview, New York at All Music. We're going to meet up with the owners and they're going to help drill down that information for us. Come on. We're here with Erwin from All Music and we're going to get an inside peek on how to purchase your first acoustic guitar. Erwin, uh, I'm an adult. I want to learn uh, how to play guitar. Where would I start uh, if I was interested in purchasing my first acoustic? I always like to say, let's set up a budget. What are you looking to spend? How much you, you want to put out there? And what are you using this guitar for? Well, I, I, I'm a beginner, so I put a, I actually put a budget together. I've got about $299, oddly, that uh, I'm looking to spend. That's great. Well, when you have a budget like that, it opens the door, especially in acoustic, to a lot of different options. And let's talk about some of those for a second. Um, acoustic guitars are generally separated into a number of different categories. And you'll find your basic beginner guitars having laminated wood, which means it's not solid woods. Then as you spend up the ladder, you'll find solid top guitars. And then in the upper echelons, you'll find both solid tops, solid backs and sides. And of course, that runs the whole gamut. For, for a beginner guitar, and when you're just getting started, my recommendation is always to shop the name brand instruments that are out there. Some of those names are, for instance, I'm holding an Ibanez right here, great beginner guitar. Fender makes some beautiful beginner guitars. Uh, Epiphone makes a nice instrument as well. Um, and even in some of the higher end brands, they do introduce uh, an entry level point in companies like Taylor and Martin. But that might be a little over the budget for a beginner getting started. And you know, you might think, what do we look for? Why am I going to spend $200 versus $300, or where are we going to spend our money? Um, again, very important, if the guitar does not play in tune, it's not going to play well for you. If the guitar does not have low action, which means how hard you have to push down on the fingerboard and on the strings to get your sound, it's not going to be enjoyable. An acoustic guitar in general is going to have a little higher action. So it's going to hurt a little bit. As you're going to start playing, even as an adult, it's going to hurt your fingers. So just think about as a child, it's, you know, it's, there's some bit of learning there and there's a little bit of pain involved. You know, you're going to start. Right. But if that guitar is set up properly and it plays really easily and it stays in tune, it'll be a pleasure to learn on. So for, for, a, for a beginner like myself coming into a store, when I purchase an acoustic guitar, I would also ask that it gets set up prior to prior to purchase? Absolutely. Um, again, any of the name brand instruments will have certain features that allow them to be set up properly and it's very important. Uh, the tuning machines on the guitar will be a quality tuning machine keeping the guitar in tune really well. The neck itself will have an adjustability uh, control inside which is actually called a truss rod and that using that truss rod you can tighten and loosen it to adjust the action on the strings and keep the neck properly adjusted. You can also adjust the string height through the saddle and that's this piece down here. All of those adjustments during the setup are done so that when you the final player have that in your hands and you're just beginning the guitar plays like butter. It plays super easy, nice and simple and all you have to do is you know practice. And a setup can run anywhere from a, a full setup on, a, on an acoustic guitar, again, if you're buying something new from a store, it should all be included. But if you're bringing in an instrument or, you know, you've, you have something and you want it set up, they'll run anywhere between $29.95 and uh, $49.95, depending on what your need is. So let's say that I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a dad and I'm buying a guitar for my son or my daughter. Are there options? Because this would be big if I was buying it for my 8-year-old daughter. Is there an option that might be appropriate for a son or a daughter? Of course. Um, Acoustic guitars, it, it's a great benefit. You can start a child as young as five or six years old because they'll make guitars in all the different sizes from what's called a half size guitar, which is a real small instrument, yep. to a three quarter, to even a little larger than that. Uh, 
gives you a full range, you know, really a full range size-wise. Right. But same principles apply. You want that instrument, even in the entry-level guitar, right. to have that nice low action and to be able to play in tune yeah. so it'll be easy for that child. In fact, I think Guy, your partner, is yes. here to show us exactly yeah. what some of those instruments might look like. Absolutely. Guy's going to bring those in. So what size body is this? This is a three-quarter body. It's a smaller body than like a dreadnought, smaller scale length. It makes it easier for a child or uh, a girl or a woman to play the guitar. It's not as long the scale length, so they don't have to reach out as long to, to reach the first fret. Um, and it makes it easier to reach over the lower bat of the body. So there are, so there are options as far as... Uh, for, for, a, for a child or a young adult to actually right. play, whether it's a half size, a three quarter, right. and when they reach the appropriate age, they could go to a full size. Right. A lot of times they'll make the mistake of just walking to a store, buying a full size guitar, getting it home, and the child's having a problem because they can't reach over here or they can't reach the end, and it, it, they'll never learn that way. They'll get very discouraged. And how would this uh, affect my, my budget if I'm shooting, like I, like I said before, I still want to spend like uh, two ninety nine for my for my. Oh, this is way under that budget. Something like this, you're looking at about $100 for the guitar. Um, and it's a quality guitar. You know, sounds great, plays great, same thing. Erwin was talking about with the tuning machines, it'll stay in tune. Um, even the half-size guitars, of course, you still want to stay with that brand name. Right. And this would also be a guitar that would be set up, or you'd get a set up? Yep, we would take care of that set up for you. And it's also very important because out of a box, they don't always play. So if you bring home a box guitar that's never been opened or set up, it's still going to be just as difficult to play, you know, without a setup. Great. So there you have it. Make sure you set a budget. Make sure you, you look at the brand names that are available on the market. Uh, and make sure that you ask for a setup or that you get this, to get this guitar set up before you leave the store. Um, we appreciate you coming by guitar.com. Uh, we hope to see you on the site in the future. Thanks for your time. That completes our video.